वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून राघवेंद्र गुड आफ्टरनून सर आर यू कम्फर्टेबल यस सर ओके फील फ्री टू टॉक टू मी Yes, feel comfortable. Yes, sir. right. Yes, sir. Ravi, tell me something about yourself, about sir. your family, the place you are coming from. I'm also interested in knowing about your academic performance, starting from eighth class. Sir, I am Raghavendra Singh. I am coming from Pratapgarh, Uttar Pradesh. I am currently pursuing my class twelve from Prayag Public School, Lal Gopal Ganj, Jalalabad. Talking about my academic performance, uh, sir, uh, from, starting from class eight, I was uh, a mediocre student in studies, but uh, as far as I came in class tenth and uh, on uh, onwards. I started uh, uh, doing more preparations, and I was good in studies. I scored 92% in my class 10th examinations, and I have just given my term one board examinations, and I am expecting to get uh, more than 90% 90% of marks. Talking about my family, sir, my family consists of my mother, father, and my two elder sisters, two elder sisters named Shraddha Singh and Juhi Singh. And my father's name is Mr. Dara Singh, and my mother's name is Mr. Anuradha Singh. My father is a sir, uh, farmer, and my mother is a homemaker. and my one sister is married and one is currently pursuing his graduation okay yes, so you told me that you were a mediocre student yes sir so but i can see from your pq form you got 92% in 10th you told me that you had improved a lot when you stepped into 10th class yes sir what made you realize this sir actually the i was serious from the studies from the very beginning but actually my methods were not correct but when i came to class 9 class 10th i got to interact uh, i got to know more and more about that how what is the right way to study and uh, how to improve your personality so when i was known to this i i did uh, good everywhere either in the academics or any other forms okay yes sir. so ragvend when you look back to your school days yes sir which was your favorite subject why it was your favorite subject and was there any subject which failed to generate interest in you what was the reason behind that yes sir so talking about my favorite subjects uh, it always had been maths maths is my favorite subject favorite subject reason behind it being that sir maths it's uh, first of all very logical and we need not mug up many things that yes uh, this is the way to mug up we just need to remember the formulas and we can um, see the various applications of it it is just so simple and talking about the subjects sir, which i didn't like was uh, uh, chemistry because uh, it is not uh, actually related to my field because i am going to join the defense forces so uh, it's actually contains various chemical reactions and step reaction mechanisms so that also i find little confusing okay yes sir and how was your relation with your teachers who was your favorite teacher and what all qualities you appreciates in him was there any teacher with whom you wanted to generate a, a better relation but you failed to do so sir uh, talking about my favorite teacher he was mr our principal that is mr frederick richard henry who used to teach us english from uh, right from class 11 so the reason behind uh, why i like him is sir sir he is a very genuine personality his uh, concept towards the life uh, is very clear and always motivates the student in a very clear way and uh, talking about sir the teacher whom i didn't like so the there is no such teacher but yes uh, there is a funny incident about it that uh, one teacher in class 11 that's my chemistry teacher used to target me in in his class but uh, what happened sir as far as when i came in class 12th i started doing good in his subjects and also started uh, my res- uh, also increased my respect towards him mai matlab unke subah subah shaam phir pahunch hone laga and now is the day that uh, i am among one of his favorite subjects uh, one of his favorite student of that particular teacher okay yes sir so you overcome this uh, yes, situation I, yes sir okay why you had not initiated this thing earlier sir earlier that uh, I was not. Uh, I was th- thinking that the things would get uh, is things would get simple on their own. But uh, I was wrong, sir. Because after that, I realized that it is me who has to take the initiative to cure any of the obstacles in my life. So I decided to do good in his subjects and increase my respect towards him. So and I overcame it, sir. Okay. So you belong to Pratapgarh. Yes, sir. Okay. So if I want to visit your place, yes, sir. What all mode of transportations I will be getting from here to reach your place? How much time it will take me to reach over there? Once I will be reaching there, I believe you will be meeting me over there. Yes, sir. What all places you would like to suggest me to visit over there? Sir, talking about uh, Pratapgarh, if you start from Allahabad, it is just adjacent to uh, adjacent to Pratapgarh. So uh, you can go there by any uh, any transport like uh, like either by bus and uh, only bus you can go only by bus there, and it almost takes uh, two hours from here to go from Pratapgarh, and the distance is approximately fifty kilometers. and uh, sir if you ever come then i will i would like to take you to the bilha devi temple uh, after that i would uh, like to take you to the uh, mangar temple which is very famous there and uh, of course uh, 
if you will come there i will take to you my take to you uh, take you to my home and i would ask my mother to prepare a good dish after that we will start our day sir right tell me something about your family now your father is a farmer yes sir how much land do you are having in your family what all crops you grow over there tell me two winter crops and two summer crops okay sir so talking about my family so my father is a father is a farmer and my mother is a house housemaker so talking about the amount of land we have it is approximately 5 bigas of land mm -hmm. and uh, most of it is uh, actually dislocated one bigas is here and another is there and uh, the crops that we sow is especially the wheat and uh, wheat and sometimes uh, potatoes and uh, mustard talking about the winter crops it contains uh, wheat and uh, mustard or sometimes uh, matter jo isko bolte hain sir matter and uh, uh, talking about the summer crops it includes the uh, rice rice I mean, especially we grow uh, occasionally we grow rice only and uh, talking about my sir my father is generally increased uh, uh, my father is generally uh, into the work of farming only so we also had a small piece of land in front of our house so i had the opportunity to work uh, sometime with my father because uh, at that part of land we only grew small uh, That vegetables which we use in our home, मतलब छोटी मोटी सब्जियाँ जो हम घर पर उगाते हैं फिर वहाँ पर काम करने का भी मौका मिलता है कभी कभी पापा के साथ आप कभी कभी ये काम करते हैं ये सर ये सर वाई नॉट रेगुलरली बिकॉज यू आर द ओनली सन ऑफ योर पेरेंट्स सो द रीजन बिहाइंग इट इज दैट सर आई लिव एट माई सिस्टर्स प्लेस एक्चुअली फ्रॉम द लास्ट सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स सो आई डिड नॉट गेट मच टाइम टू इंटरेक्ट विद द फैमिली फ्रॉम पास्ट सिक्स सेवन मंथ्स and in your family with whom you share your strongest bonding sir it actually depends that what kind of uh, what kind of thing i am sharing with so if it something if it is something that is related to finances or uh, something which requires a large understanding then i would go to my father and uh, told him the problem after that i will also go to my mother and uh, tell tell her about the same same situation and if it is something which is related to the emotions that my mother will move, understand it in a better way then i go to my then i go and tell that thing to my mother when you talk about emotions yes sir what all emotions you talk to your mother then sir not just very serious just uh, uh, what kind of problems i am facing that if i am getting sick uh, or if i am getting some problems with friends uh, friends or family family in the neighborhood do you believe that you get uh, problems with your friend no sir hmm I but you told me that sometimes when you have problem with your friends then you talk to your mother that's actually the neighborhood because in the villages the uh, actually sometimes there is some clashes among the people so mm -hmm. yes sir so yes. when it happened last time so last time it was uh, during the panchayat elections mm -hmm. when the when we won the panchayat election and, and the other community got uh, angry upon us and it tried to initiate a fight but uh, we tr uh, we tried to mediate i also put in some efforts that the that this does not happen because war is never what all efforts you had made over there so i tried to mediate the situation like uh, whenever there is uh, there are the members of my uh, members of my family who are matlab unko agar kuch uthane ki koshish kar rahe hain then i told him that yeah please let uh, let it be normal why why to spread violence we have won the elections that is a uh, that itself is a good thing so why to fight uh, fight with someone it, it will eventually lead to a war uh, it will eventually lead to a flight fight and that's not good for us okay yes sir so who contended uh, this election from your family sir it's actually my uh, uh, bhaiya mm -hmm. not real bhaiya but uh, neighborhood bhaiya tell me two qualities which you appreciate very much in your father and i'm also interested in knowing two qualities which you don't like in your father sir talking about the good qualities of my father sir i find him very dedicated in the festi on the days of festivals i see many people enjoying the festivals and uh, uh, on the other hand when i see my father he is still engaged engaged in the field and uh, second thing is uh, he is just very simple he does not uh, care of what other persons are doing matlab he is very very simple kind of personality and talking about the bad things uh, there is no such bad things which i don't li uh, like about my father but yes there are uh, one or two qualities that if i had been on his place then i must not indulge myself in uh, achieving good tasks and uh, sometimes he is a bit louder towards the family so the so sir if i was at her, his place i would not do this okay why he becomes louder at times so sometimes such family matter mummy mummy is saying something else and papa is saying something else so things uh, he just uh, start getting bit louder then whom you supports so it depends on the uh, depends on the situation that who is right at that particular point okay and uh, if you will be getting an opportunity to share your things 
whom you would like to prefer first your father or your mother to share it sir as i told earlier that it depends upon the type of situation that i am in if the situation is close to the father i will tell to my father and if to my mother then to my mother and also sir i share my things especially to my sisters because they are of my age and they will understand the things more in a more uh, diligent way more, more simple way so i i also i also share my things with my sisters okay so your one sister is pursuing graduation yes sir how as an elder sister how she assist you in your academics sir actually she belongs from hindi medium so uh, she has a little to do with uh, little to do good good with, with my academics but yes uh, she took a care of me that uh, he she, uh, she told me that how to do the things how not to do the things he, she uh, t- told me the proper manner of these things and not much to do with the academics sir okay so ragwin tell me something about your friends how many friends you are having who's your best friend what all qualities you appreciate in him what all qualities he appreciates in you and which was the most memorable time you had ever spent with your best friend okay sir so talking about my friend circle then i would say that i had a, i have a very large friend circle and almost all the people who are in my class are my good friends but yes there are some people who are spe- uh, always very close to my heart uh, talking about them is one of them is sir uh, himanshu mishra from kunda and uh, other is sir rajiv goel from allahabad so uh, the good qualities that i like about them that one is rajiv goel he is a very dedicated student and uh, he no, he does not uh, do any kind of show off he is a very simple guy and uh, very serious with his studies and i bet that he will clear the iit examinations this year another another one that himanshu the so the thing i like about him is uh, even in this modern world when every when every student wants to study online then he is the only guy whom i have seen that he studies everything on from the books on his own self and have a bit, pretty good understanding or, or understanding also and talking about the qualities that my uh, my friends like about me is that uh, uh, when sir i am ex- actually a good communicator when i am when i am with them they see me as a leader because uh, and and uh, some bad qualities is that uh, they sometimes ask me to not to live with, uh, not to go with another side of his students as i have told earlier that i am uh, friendly with all kinds of people in the class mm-hmm. so they say that uh, don't go with that people don't go with this people but okay. but the, but sir that's not the issue because i believe if i have to be in a good position then i have to handle all types of people in my surrounding so if i am with uh, the bad kind of people then it's my responsibility that i i mold them in, my, in the way i want them to be okay. i i tell them positive things and uh, uh, ask always ask them to focus upon their studies and, the, and their careers right and which was the most memorable moment you had ever spent with them so the most memorable moment is this uh, one or two months back when we watched the movies uh, movie in the cinema hall that is the spider man movie and after that we gone to company garden and uh, visited there for one to ask and uh, that was the most memorable moment till now sir how you spent that day tell me in detail so uh, starting from the morning uh, i went to i went from my home and catch the bus to allahabad i came here at 11 pm and uh, gone to the cinema hall that is pvr and uh, we watched the movie the spider man movie after finishing the movie so we uh, generally came out and uh, gone to eat some eat some stuff as we were as we were hungry after that sir we t- took all our friends and uh, came to company garden there we had a pretty good time and uh, took some pictures of us and uh, by then it was 5 pm so we decided to go, uh, go off to our home okay yes, sir. how much money you had spent that day so it's about 300 rupees 300 rupees yes sir okay as a youngster ragvendra how do you keep yourself physically fit so uh, i generally uh, when i wake up in the morning sir i generally do yoga for half an hour after that sir i go for a small run of the around 3 kilometers which took me uh, takes me around 16 to 17 minutes for me and uh, yes sir this is the way and i also do some exercises after coming what all exercises you do so basic exercises that's like push ups and uh, squats and uh, pull ups these all basic exercises and sometimes i do plank because it enhances our shoulder strength okay so ragvind your father is a farmer you help him sometimes yes sir not regularly yes sir. so tell me what is chemical formula of urea because you are not interested in chemistry yes sir so uh, actually i think uh, i am not sure but uh, i can give that it's cano uh, cano2 dot half h2 but sir i am not sure what all games and sports activities you had been involved into 
so talking about my participation in games and sports then uh, i had participated in volleyball volleyball in school and uh, after that uh, whenever i get the opportunity to play i play uh, kabaddi also in my school but at some level because our school does not organize it is regularly but i whenever i get a chance i play kabaddi and uh, talking about the sports as my, at my home then i sometimes play cricket and other time i play gulli danda uh, gulli danda okay yes sir so you are playing volleyball for your school team yes sir right tell me how long this volleyball court is what is the height of net how many players are there so talking about the dimensions of the court it is 18 by 9 meter and uh, the height of the court is uh, the height of the court is uh, 9 meter i uh, 9 meter and uh, the number of players is 6 uh, but we have one two two players in extra because uh, if someone gets injured or someone is not pay, uh, able to play good then we can replace him if i'll ask you to organize a volleyball tournament in your school yes. then how you will organize it so first of all the first duty com- comes in that uh, what level of tournament it is if it is a inter house competitions then i would first ask to the uh, sports uh, house captains of every uh, of every house that uh, you have to uh, uh, go into the class and make the announcements that yes we are going to conduct a uh, inter house competition and after that you have to make the list of the uh, you have to make the list of the students who are volunteering for that uh, volunteering for that uh, sports once this is done after that i will ensure that the ground is uh, ground is pretty good the nets are on the uh, nets are snatched there and the ma- ma- marking lines are good there after that uh, the we will we will uh, st- uh, select the students who are, who had driven the trial and we will select the best players after that uh, every house will prepare its uh, best team and uh, we will be into a uh, round round robin round robin tournament we will prepare a fixture for it and uh, the match will continue so what is round robin tournament so round robin tournament is actually when a lot a lot number of teams are there then we generally uh, divide the matches that uh, prepare a schedule for it and that schedule is known as round robin tournament in this schedule every teams get uh, at least two to three chances to play uh, because if in one match they were unable to win the match they had another chances that if they perform good in another matches they will be there in the final how many houses are there in your school there are four houses sir can you name them yes sir yellow green blue and red okay which is your house yellow house sir what all special contribution you had given for your house till date so talking about my contributions the as the schools were closed from last 1.5 years but as the schools open uh, i was given the opportunity to decorate the house boards matlab i was not decorating but i was uh, going into the classes and announcing about the same after that i was collecting the stuffs uh, that what all articles are there what all pictures are there that has to be taken on the house boards and thereafter arranging them in the order that uh, what is what should be the good order of the uh, order of it and thereafter sir i got the opportunity to represent my house board in front of the principal and uh, one guest has came there okay yes sir so what is position of your house in your school now sir it is always uh, uh, yellow yellow house is the only team who is winning the competitions from the last 4 uh, to 5 years okay yes sir but so due it to always corona, comes fast yes sir due to corona conditions we are unable to organize the annual functions yes sir and, and sports meets also it it has been organized but on a small level because people were not allowed but earlier people were allowed everyone was to come to see and guess house get chief gets used to come what all other extra curricular activities you had been involved into in your school so talking about the extra curricular activities uh, whenever i had got got the chance i uh, had participated in the activities i beat be the uh, science uh, science exhibitions of my school then i have paid my contribution in it and uh, beat be the debate competitions or any uh, musical or dance co- dance tournament is happening then i participate there always okay how many debate competitions you had faced till date so uh, they are actually 2 uh, to 3 2 to 3 yes. which was the best one so best one was uh, in the uh, back in 2020 uh, 2020 when i was in class 10 and the topic of it was the reservation sir reservation yes is it is it good or bad okay so you were uh, in the giving of- you were in favor of reservation yes sir why you were favoring reservation so because uh, i believe that uh, in our past we have uh, our leaders had uh, did some kinds of suppression suppression to the other member of society society so now is the time that we uh, give them equal opportunity and ensure that they come on all equal level of the society but yes sir i also support a point that reservation is only good if it is given to the right person so do you believe people are not getting reservation uh, the way it should be given 
or do you believe that uh, still the government is not applying this reservation policy in a correct manner so uh, first of all our government needs to be appreciated because if the government is doing something it is uh, a lots of con consultations of higher officers is there so uh, no doubt the matter is good but yes uh, a scope of improvement is always there but and i believe that yes the people are getting reservations on a uh, on a good basis but uh, now is the time that we need to do some changes in our policies that uh, and ensure and ensure that the reservation is given to the right person what i mean by right person is that uh, from the pre, uh, from the back uh, back dates we are giving reservation on the basis of caste so i think we must make a little changes in it and uh, providing the reservation to the uh, financial education financially economically backward classes sir. okay i have heard somewhere that uh, government had made some changes in reservation yes sir it has, so it what all changes it it is only up to 10% sir that uh, the economically backward classes are allowed reservations for 10% mm -hmm. yes right so you are good into academics you had been involved into games and sports activities you were playing volleyball for your school team yes, uh, you had participated in so many activities then what stopped you participating in any activity like ncc so actually i am currently pursuing my class 12 mm -hmm. so uh, the uh, the facility of ncc is not there once i will complete my class 12th examinations then surely sir i will come to ncc if, uh, and uh, on a, on the other side i will be trying to give my best for nda examinations and i hope that i i am confident that i will clear the ssb and join the uh, armed forces this very year sir at one point you are saying that after 12th you will be appearing for ncc now you are saying that sir. you are confident you will be getting recommended so that's What exactly you want to do so that's actually my plan b so uh, because i am very confident and uh, but sometimes the things uh, sometimes the thing do not go as we have expected them to be since you are saying you are confident yes sir then why you are over focusing on your plan b now sir i just told it to you i am not over focusing sir mm -hmm. yes sir because i said that i will complete my class 12th examination class 12 after that i will think of that i have to join ncc but my first priority is as always in national defense academy sir mm -hmm. yes sir so since last one and half years you are saying that your schools were closed you all people were going through online education yes sir what do you feel online education is good or bad sir it's actually good it's Because, good yes sir it's good and uh, i would say that i have how can you say that it is good people are complaining too much about it sir it actually depends on the way it is being organized if it is organized on the uh, some apps like zoom or google meet then sir surely it's not good because some people will come there and make nonsense type of activities which will eventually disturb the class but if the classes are organized or organized on a particular platform like the the education ha uh, the the institution has a particular app for it and the classes are well scheduled then there is no uh, no harm in it sir it is very good mode of education because we have the facility tell me the two advantages of online education the first advantage is so that we got to interact with the best teachers of india mm -hmm. because if we are uh, studying in a school uh, then somewhere we uh, feel that uh, the teacher is not good but in the online you seriously feel no sir the teachers teaching in school are not good no sir but uh, uh, some point of time the teachers in the online platform are slightly better than them mm -hmm. yes sir another another quality of online education is the uh, is that sir the students can study at any time of point they want for example if i have if i am having my school at 2 pm and if i uh, if i am into nda written coaching then i have my classes there also in the offline batch but if i am in an online batch then i can study after coming from a school and at a good speed because if i am understanding known to the topic from the earlier then i can uh, watch it on the 2x or 1.5x so it helps a lot to the students sir. if not armed forces yes then what all other career options you are having so first of all i would again say that i am pretty confident that i will make in my this attempt and after that i have some various attempts because the life, the journey has just started i will always uh, continue to give ssbs and uh, i am sure that i will clear it sometimes if the things does, does do not go in hand then i have thought that i will be going for upsc as because after nda uh, nda this is the this is a very good uh, very good service sir because we are serving to the people and uh, after being from a good rank okay so what you will prefer more armed forces or upsc um, armed forces are always right yes sir that's my second option that is your second option yes so 
since you are having second option you would have tried for other things also you would have gone to engineering because you are a pcm student you had a bright career outside also why you are looking for armed forces then sir uh, i believe that if i will be a, uh, if i will be go in, going into engineering field then i will uh, not be a good engineer because uh, lots of people are there who are good than me but i believe that yes if i will be into the armed forces or the civil services then yes i am the i am a very perfect perfect candidate because every candidate have has its own interest and uh, its uh, own interest so so this is my particular interest and i think that uh, if i will be a engineer i will be not a good engineer but i if i will be in this field i will uh, do perfectly best in this field okay yes sir so why you preferred air force why not army or navy uh, sir it's actually a funny kind of thing that uh, from very beginning of my class 7th or 8th i had uh, thought of join uh, air force as as a as a pilot and first of all i was just thinking that i will be joining the uh, uh, joining the commercial pilot services but as i was not i was not known to the national defense academy and these types of examinations but uh, after coming into class 8th or 9th i got to know about the national defense academy and from that time i choose that yes i will be going into the air force only and through nd okay so when we celebrate our air force day sir it is actually on 2nd of october 8th of october sorry 8th of october yes sir. okay tell me five aircrafts used in indian air force so aircrafts include uh, the fighter aircrafts include rafale tejas sukhoi mig 21 and mirage 2000 what is speciality of rafale so the special uh, its special qualities are that it is a multi role uh, multi role aircraft and it is having a very good speed that uh, provides it advantage in the combat in the combat times okay then how many commands indian air force is having where is southwestern command of indian air force so talking about the commands the indian air force has presently seven commands and the western uh, uh, name uh, if i would like to name them that uh, all the commands are Uh, the eastern command in shillong northern command uh, sorry northern command does not exist it western command is in delhi and south western command is in gandhinagar and uh, southern command is in thiruvananthpuram and two we have two other command uh, uh, sorry central command is in allahabad and two other commands one is the uh, maintenance command in nagpur and uh, training command in mangalore sir okay so again a point a personal question now you were a good player in your school days Uh, and you were good into academics also yes sir now do you have a girlfriend you are having since you are having so many friends do you have a girlfriend yes sir i do have a girlfriend okay tell me the qualities which you ad- appreciate in her so the first quality is that uh, she is also dedicated towards his goals and uh, she never demands of anything that uh, yes uh, she is a pretty mature kind of person and uh, so uh, if we are in a- how you can say she is very mature so because the we are uh, from relationship from last two years and she had never demanded of any things that yes i want this i want that i want time i want this whenever that told that uh, i am going into a study and i will be very busy she is okay with it and she also be, uh, is busy with her studies mhm so you exactly want to say that when you were in 10th class you met her first yes sir okay it's actually very early i believe but uh, that was a kind of mistake by me but uh, after time do you feel it is a mistake at first time i believe i thought that it is a mistake mm. but uh, as for, as for the time be, uh, continued sir i realized that uh, it is a sense of responsibility and this thing shows maturity because it is not easy to be uh, it is on, not easy to be in a relationship uh-huh. and that to continue it so sir i think that is, yes it is a very good thing and uh, it is actually a sense of responsibility mm-hmm. yes sir so tell me something about your first interaction with the girl how you proposed her sir it's not it was not actually me proposing her okay she proposed me she proposed you yes sir what all qualities she had seen in you sir i was not known known to that but she said but you are in relation with her for last two years why you hadn't asked this so yes sir so first of all uh, of course i was a good student i was having good academics and uh, second sir i was very sim- simple kind of person i was not involved into fights or anything and that uh, and the third thing was that of course uh, maybe she like uh, she likes me mm-hmm. from her beauty after meeting him and uh, meeting her had you ever been afraid of losing your interest in academics no sir i always any kind of distraction sir it is actually uh, distractions are always there whether we are in the relationship or we are not in the relationship 
that uh, the level of distraction matters that if we are in a relationship we are having some other types of distraction if we are not in the relationship the obstacle obstacles are always there in life sir but the good quality is that we need to manage it all so we have to uh, prioritize or schedule that uh, what we are going to do in this part of time in this part of time and uh, continue and we can do anything sir in last two years which was the best gift you had gifted her sir i did not gift her any but i have gifted her good moments I mean, talking to her. Okay, was... right. Now again, a personal question to you, yes. Raghavendra. Yes, sir. I've heard like uh, online education, people are getting free access to the mobile phones and all. Okay, it is not restricted nowadays. Yes. Sir. But the disadvantage of this is so many youngsters of your age, they are inclined towards the restricted sites. Yes. Had you ever seen? Had you ever tried? So it actually uh, whenever a uh, technology comes then there are advantages and misadvantages of it mm -hmm. but it depends on the person it depends on the people that in what way he wants to use and with, when this thing comes it uh, comes that how mature is the person so because uh, so if he will match he will be a matured guy he will balance all the things in life because nothing is good and nothing is wrong it only depends on the way we take and the uh, uh, quantity in which we do that particular thing so how frequent you are watching these restricted sites so i am not very uh, i am not very uh, i was i won't, i did not go uh, that v very frequently uh, yes sir, i do not go there frequently but but yes sometimes uh, i go there that's not hard. right yes. had you ever tried to be physical with your girlfriend no sir why because it is a very uh, i accept that yes i am in a relationship but i understand that this is not the age to be physical because we are uh, pretty small kind of kids and that's not the age of being physical sir now as a youngster how do you keep yourself updated with general knowledge yes sir so the first thing uh, there are actually two sources the first source is of course youtube and uh, i have subscribed to many channels which provide good uh, good tell me two channels so the world of uh, world affairs and study iq education so i update myself regularly on the extent internal and external matters of the country and second is the newspaper reading sir uh, but uh, being from a village area, so English newspaper does not come to my place. But I used to study it from the PDF every morning. Okay. Yes, sir. So tell me two recent international news and two national news. Okay, sir. So talking about the international news, as we all know that sir, there is a certain kind of dispute between Russia and Ukraine. Hmm. Russia. What dispute it is? So the dispute is actually Russia wants to capture uh, capture Ukraine, and the reason behind it is that uh, U Ukraine is now going to join NATO. And the NATO is an organization which acts uh, actually in a rebellion way to Russia. And Russia does not want it that uh, all the countries in her eastern border are joining, uh, should join NATO. So it is, it has uh, asked for a few, ty few types of uh, demands in front of America. And if that demands are not uh, completed, she will, it will actually invade uh, Ukraine and capture, capture it. Can you tell me what all demands they had put in front of America? Yes, sir. So there are various demands of them. The first demand is that uh, they will dip, uh, they will remove all of the troops from the NATO countries that is uh, from the Eastern Europe that they have deployed. Second demand is the, that uh, the Russia wants that uh, uh, any country should not join uh, any of the countries around his border should not join uh, NATO in its near future. And uh, Ukraine is one of them. And uh, another demand is that. Uh, so USA, USA has not to sell its equipment, military equipments to the to the countries in its, in its border. And so that these terms are actually very difficult for it. Because if a country will stop its military export uh, to the other country, then how will it survive? So, okay. Yes. And other news? So it is actually we have a we have a mid of quad uh, quad in the uh, in Australia a few days back. So, so there we have highlighted various issues. That is one of the issues that. Uh, India is currently, face, currently facing that Pakistan issue and uh, after that we have tried to mediate over the situation of Russia Ukraine. Yes sir. And talking about the national news sir, sir in the Karnataka, uh, in the UDP districts of Karnataka, there is actually uh, students are protesting against the wearing of hijab in their, in their class, in their educational institutions. <laughs> yes sir. And other news national level? Other news on the national level, sir, is that elections are going on in five states of UP, or uh, five states of India. Okay. Yes. Can you name all five states? Sir, I actually do not name, remember all, but there are actually three I remember. It is Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Goa. Okay. Sir. And Raghavind, whenever you get free time, how do you spend your free time then? Sir, I, I spend my time in various ways. 
the first basis the the first way is the whenever i have a free time then i have some work from my family because i had some responsibilities like bringing vegetables from the market and bringing if anything is ghar mein agar koi cheez kharab ho gayi hai to matlab usko repair karana inki zimmedari i have taken it after that uh, i spent some time with my father and is is ke alawa sir i used to read i used to be in the habit of reading books reading non fictitious book and uh, after that sir i am um, uh, most of the time which I, is your favorite book sir the most uh, favorite book is my sir, book of mine is rich dad poor dad rich dad poor dad it is wonderful book yes sir can you tell me the summary of this book so the summary of this book is that uh, the people in the in the normal people in the in this era generally believe that money is not a good thing and always uh, keep themselves telling that uh, no you do not have to earn money you have to focus upon being a good person and all and uh, actually the poor people are having a wrong mindset about money so in that book the writer has explained about the who is writer of this robert t kiyosaki is a leading businessman of america so he has explained about that uh, how a student can become uh, how one can become rich by uh, by his own experiences right yes, i believe this book was best seller yes sir this this was the best seller right apart from reading books what all other activities you perform at your free time so other activities uh, includes generally uh, listening to the post- podcast on youtube it includes uh, motivational speeches of any uh, any of the good people or uh, defense related information and as i mentioned earlier it may be a news news that i am l- listening through okay so generally on your holidays how do you spend your holiday how do you start your day how do you finish as your day so talking about my schedule on my holidays so i generally wake up at 5:30 to 6 am and uh, do exercises for 10 to 15 minutes or half an hour it's especially yoga after that i go for a running for 3 to 4 km 3 uh, kilometers in 16 to 17 minutes and i came back home and do a little more exercise after that i go to the market and bring the vegetables and grow from and bring, bring milk from work. but you initially told me that you have a small land in front of your house you are sir. growing vegetables over there also yes sir so that's actually me uh, i live at my sister's place from past 6 to 7 months so my sister's place is not uh, in the village so we i am actually telling about the schedule of my sister's place okay yes sir continue so i bring vegetables from the market and bring milk from the milk from the other area thereafter sir uh, if i have some work like uh, i have my online classes so i continue myself in my in my classes and academics on After holidays that, also yes you are having your classes yes sir because uh, uh, i am not only preparing for my schools but uh, there are different examinations also if you talk about the ndi examinations then the classes are all in, on every day and by chance if uh, i have skip any of the classes then i am free on sunday that uh, i can watch the classes another another activities include sir uh, to 12 12 pm i have two dogs so on sundays i used to give them a give them a bath okay. so uh, after i gave them a bath we had lunch and uh, a little type of power nap i had i have and in the evening i go for i go for play in the in the in the neighborhood and uh, sometimes i take my father take my father to for a ride in the countryside area because he is a physically hand, uh, physically handicapped so i whenever i took him to the right he feels very happy and uh, he was uh, so he feels very happy and i also feel a little motivated towards being with him okay and then how you finishes your day uh, yes sir talking about fin- uh, in the night sir i again uh, pursue my hobbies like uh, reading books and all and uh, if i had some study work i finish it after that sir i make a time table for the next day that what all i am going to do the next day and i ensure it that it uh, gets completed to the most of the extent and after that i rate myself that uh, how had i performed in my present day so is it good or better is it good or not so uh, i write the make the time table and go to sleep so generally how how much rating you are giving to yourself so it is generally 7 uh, or 8 or sometimes if the day was not good i rate myself 2 to 3 only because because the because then i for the next day i get motivated that yes you have to finish and there are few days that i rate myself 10 out of 10 no how many because i am doing good work at that day i need to rate myself ragwind what all qualities you see in yourself for what you are confident that armed forces will recommend you as an officer so the first quality is that i am very friendly and a jolly kind of person i meet with people easily and second thing sir is that i have good communication skills i can give speeches in front of the people addressing them about the good things and the main thing is that sir i have a positive positive mindset towards everything 
and that is very necessary to in the armed forces or in every spheres of life sir okay i enjoyed my conversation with you gentlemen would you like to ask me any question at last no sir thank you sir wish you very good luck